This is the um, Mongoose's uh, Hot Wheel truck right here. We restored the car on the back, and this baby is perfect. Uh, I'll just take you over here and open it up, and I don't know how much you can see inside. Uh, four door. We run down the road in these trucks. Awesome. Plymouth. Sponsored. And I'll take you over here. How you like that? Isn't that awesome? So this is the original truck. Unfortunately, it's not the original car. But uh, it's okay. It's, uh, it looks good sitting on the back here. But this is the truck that uh, we restored right here in our facility. And right quickly here, I'm going to flash you over to the, my truck. Or actually, I have both trucks, own both trucks, but uh, this is the other Hot Wheel truck, and I think it's uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. And this one here actually has the um, original car on the back. This car uh, was loaned out to the um, rapid transit system, and they uh, took it around the country in the early 70s. And so I ended up getting the car back and uh, put it back in the running condition exactly like it was with the B&N automatic transmission in it. Uh, this car, this truck has a spare engine in it. That's a um, 64, 65 block, cast iron block, ready to run. It also has spare transmission for the funny car. Uh, it also is nicely done inside the car, the truck I should say, and I just thought I'd get you a wide shot of it. You know, he's going to sell the two Hot Wheel trucks at the big auction in Scottsdale the middle of January, and they're going to be sold as a pair with the cars on the top and the whole thing, you know, and, and they've been promoting it for like... A whole year and they're doing a video tell them about the movie that you just did coming over there well Barry Jackson's just done a tremendous job uh, with all the publicity and they even had us uh, well we drove skipped myself drove the two trucks for about a hundred miles with loaded with a camera crew and a helicopter that was shooting above and different shots and still shots going down the highway and so it, it's just a really nice piece they're putting together and uh, you'll start seeing that in some of the Barrett Jackson's ads come, you know, leading up to uh, January 18th for the auction in Phoenix but yeah we decided that after the movie we did the movie Stink the Mongoose that I had these trucks and as you can see in my shop here just I'm out of room and I decided to sell the uh, the two trucks and I liked for them to go on to a, um, a collector somebody that uh, that followed the two of us uh, from 1970 on and um, I think it'd be a, a nice nice piece yeah, of we work. hope they have a really good home and these trucks yeah. are so nice if you have never seen one up close when we had them we thought they were nice well he's redone them and they're like Ferraris they're like <laughs> beautiful so yeah is there a bit of sadness parting with these well, you know, it's, uh, as it's getting closer to the date, uh, I start thinking about that a little bit. But, yeah, you know, they're, they're kind of, all my cars are kind of like kids, you know, to me. But they they grow up and they need to get out on their own. That's right. You know, they, somebody else needs to take care of them. You wouldn't sell your kids, though, right? No, well, I, I <laughs> want her out of the house. and that's what, I wouldn't sell her, but I'd want her out of the house. You know, Bobby, you know what, this is, to me, the sad part about it is I wish Mattel had a, had a museum and they'd put all the hot wheel cars in a hot wheel museum where people could come see them but they over the years you know they change people they don't have the interest anymore i guess but that's always what i always was hoping that that was going to happen and it didn't so yeah well they're, they're a real piece of history oh boy not just mattel's history but yeah. ours i hope that somebody and drag race i hope somebody in japan or china don't that's what i think i'm worried about someone from collector from overseas buy them and ship them overseas or What's something. What's wrong with that? Well, it'd be good be good for the money, but yeah. I, I, I hate to see them yeah. leave. I mean, you know, a lot of people like seeing them, you know? Yeah. Well, that's what's nice. Well, you know what's really nice about them, too, is that you can get in them and drive them. They're just not a car that's sitting around. It's something you get in, fire he, it up, they tell me take it, it down it, the road. They, and he's so passionate about this, 
that a year ago when they loaded the cars on the back of them here, he said, that's it. They're never coming off these trucks. They're going to be sold that way. And on this hundred last hundred mile film that they just did at some little town, the few people were there. He unloaded the yellow car and started it up for the people. Sure, yeah, I like. So it, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Passion. That's what I'm talking about. But they sound good too. That that yellow one really, really cackles. See, yeah. Oh so, yeah. That's fun. Who would be, who would be the optimum buyer? Who would you most want to see? By, by the car? Would there be a demographic profile of the person? Or? You know, I have a lot of friends that are collectors. Uh, Ron Pratt's one of them that lives in Phoenix. He's quite a collector. Uh, and uh, Rick Hendricks, is, uh, he's actually has a couple of my cars. Uh, I like to say Rick, have, I like for Rick to buy them, yeah. But, you know, it's, there's just a lot of other people out there that I don't even know that are, uh, might even be bigger collectors. Well, you promoted them pretty good for a yeah, year. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. they took them yeah. They hauled them all over the country. Yeah. I mean, they, they've really been got some publicity going. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it would be nice if they were in the, uh, like, Henry Ford Museum or something, you know. They have a nice automotive display area in there. I'd like to see them pick it up. And there's some more around town that uh, they're going to bid on them. So that would be a nice place for them to, uh, to end up. At what point did these cars get the value in your heart? I mean, was it later on in your career, or have you always valued the ramp trucks and uh, to me when we no to me when we first were able to get them when we first able and we got this Mattel thing and we had the money and we could buy we went he got uh, Richard P Petty's and I got the socks and Martin because they only made five or six of them Chrysler did and when we were able to get these cars and paint them we came to the races with these cars that was pretty and, hot and, and I think when the deal went together with Mattel that wasn't the original plan to uh, to build these trucks we we were first concerned about the sponsorship sure no we didn't know yeah. and then after that and you know largely because of him on the promotion side of things is that wouldn't it be cool if we had these big trucks to come pulling into the track like dick landy was doing in socks and martin and maybe richard petty those guys had the big dodge trucks and we had little pickup trucks but we wanted something like that that they made an impression uh for the sport too, you know, to build a sport up, have these fancy rigs, and mm -hmm. so that's why we built them. Gotcha. Uh, how much do you think these cars will fetch at all? <laughs> what do you think? And and the haul, you're selling it as a package deal, both. Yeah, cars and all. you know, I have no idea. I mean, I've heard all kinds of numbers. I know what I got in them, and I know what I kind of think they're worth. And um, there's a reserve on them, but I'm not telling you what that is. And we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. Don't know. I'd say a lot, though. Yeah. Whatever's a lot. I, I don't know. Those two I, people that just won that $636 million, billion, they could afford them. <laughs> a lot of people can afford them. It's, it's a piece of history. You know, it's something that... And if they get up and yeah. see them, if you come up close and yeah. you've never seen them and you open the door or you look inside the cab, I mean, he's completely framed off those trucks. The, I mean, it's you'd have to see them to really appreciate them up close. The yellow truck has a spare engine in it, and it's a Keith Black complete engine. 426 cast iron and 1965. I think it numbers is right block and heads, yeah. and it's it's ready to run. How tough is it going to be to say goodbye to those when the gavel strikes and it says sold? Jeez, I, I I don't know. We'll have to see. I, really, if I I wouldn't have put them up for auction if I didn't think about all that. I, I've used them a lot. I've taken them different places. I, uh, I'm okay with it. You know, I think. I, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. It's it's depends on how much money he gets. No, we'll see. Make yeah. it easier. Yeah. Is there a chance you're going to want to buy them back? Well, he's not going to give them away. Someone's going to have to pay the money he wants. Yeah. yeah. But when reserve. you sell it, are you going to want to buy it back? No, I don't think. Did so. you want to be the first bid? <laughs> hey, you know what happens to myself and a lot of the guys that are collectors? Sooner or later, you're going to move the stuff on. Sooner or later, uh, collections uh, get sold off to other people, and that's what's happening to mine. I mean, all these cars will eventually be gone because uh, I'll, I'll end up selling them off. You know, I'm 70, what, two years old, so, you know, how long can you keep this stuff? And there's a new, you know, there's a brand new museum going in Portland up there, the guy, uh, Tony, that used to run the NHRA museum. He's got some people, and they just got a building, and they're buying cars. So eventually, as they go, they're going to add drag cars 
to that, and sometimes drag cars go from museum to museum, or they trade around. You know, yeah, I'd like to see them go. You know, if Garlitz or the NHR Museum had room for them, that'd be great homes for them if they had a place for them. But wherever they go to, uh, Hendrix has already got a couple of your cars, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Well, like I say, you can drive these trucks, you know, that's what's fun about them. You get in and go somewhere with a car on the back. 